Hey babe, ready to plan our date night? Uh, sure. Pick the card. So we're staying in, I'm making you a steak, and you're picking a movie for us? Uh-huh. I'm a homebody at heart, so date nights in the house are perfect for me. Plus, I love to cook, so let's get into this steak. We're going to start off by dry browning a ribeye by patting it dry and then salting it on both sides and the edges. Once it's salted, you're going to let it rest on the counter for one hour. While it's resting, we're going to work on a compound butter. All the ingredients are in the caption, but you're going to add rosemary, thyme, shallots, garlic, salt, and pepper to soften butter and then mix it all together. Once it's combined, I like to get it onto some parchment paper and then use a straight edge to put it into a roll. Then I just wrap it up and throw it back into the fridge so the flavors all have a little bit of time to sit together. Once the hour wait is over for your steak, you're going to pat it dry one more time before cooking. To cook, you're going to add some avocado oil to a cast iron pan that's been preheated to just over medium heat. Then once you get your ribeye in, you're going to flip it every two minutes. This technique is going to give you a perfect sear and an even doneness regardless of what temperature you like your steak cooked to. And the perfect doneness for me is when the steak hits 120 degrees. At that point, I like to sear the steak on the sides for about 30 seconds per side. Then I'm going to put some compound butter down on my board, the steak on top, more compound butter on top of the steak, and then loosely rest some parchment paper on top of it all. Once the butter's melted, I get the steak cut up into bite-sized pieces and toss it in all the juice left on the board. So give this one a try and enjoy your next steak date night at home. Okay, love you. Bye.